Hey guys, my name is Mike Carleo, and this is my fourth installment of my Guitar Player Backpack. And today, we're going to be speaking about sliding pentatonic scales. Now, after you get really comfortable with your pentatonic scale, and even your blues scale, you might want to start thinking about how do we connect them together. Well, I developed a simple exercise for us today that's going to be able to connect our pentatonic scale ideas. So, let's get started. We're going to use this exercise to practice how to connect our adjacent pentatonic scales. We're going to practice this in A minor. Now, we're going to use something that I call the ladder technique. So we're going to play one note from the first shape and then slide up to the next shape. And then once we come back down, we come back to that note we slid to and then slide back down. Then we're going to use the ladder. We're going to take up the second step. So we're going to play two notes of the first and then slide. And then three notes and then slide four notes and then slide. So I'm going to show you the first five examples. So I play my first note of the first shape, which is on the fifth fret, and then right away I'm going to slide into the second shape with my first finger to the eighth fret, and then continue the shape. So I'm not necessarily going to start and end on the same finger. Then I'm going to be playing two notes and then sliding of the first shape and then I slide to the second shape. And then three notes. And then four notes. One, two, three. notes now. One, two, three, four, five, slide. Oops. Okay, and just like I did, you have to make sure you concentrate really hard so you don't make a mistake and you don't do a minor scale. You just want to keep it pentatonic scale. So that's how you do that into the second shape. Now you can do this for all of the shapes. You can start in the second shape and then move to the third, the third into the fourth, the fourth into the fifth, and then the fifth back into the first. Now this is just a starting point and a starting exercise on how to help us be able to create a connection between our pentatonic scales. Now this is also possible for the blues scales. Once you get comfortable with the sliding pentatonic scales, you can now do this with the sliding blue scales. Now we're going to do this in the same key, okay? Now you got to be careful because there's a lot of sliding that's going to be going on. Now I'm going to show you the first five or six examples, okay? So we're going to start with our first note again and then slide. One, slide, blues note, now we're going to do two notes in slide, one, two, slide, Now three notes. Now this one's a little tricky. We're going to use our first finger and slide with the same string into the second shape. So one, two, three, slide. And then we're going to slide on the blues note. notes. One, two, three, four, five, slide. And then six. So for some of the notes it gets a little tricky. But as long as you stay focused and stay concentrated, you'll be able to get the sliding blues pentatonics. Okay? Now, this is very important for us because this is going to start helping us learn how to be able to do licks with interchangeable shapes. And that's the blues scales. So this exercise was a starting point on how to connect our pentatonic or blues scales together. So when we're constructing our own solos, we got to be able to connect ideas just how we connect sentences in language. 
Now, we're speaking to our audience as we play, or speaking to the viewer on the video as we play. So we wanna be able to make sense. So this exercise will be, will be able to help us connect our adjacent pentatonic or blue shapes together. Now, any experienced guitar player will be able to do this. And this exercise is a great foundation on how to get us started. So if you wanna to get to learn about me more, you can check me out on my website below, michaelcarleo.com for more information. Thanks for checking out this installment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.